Let's review another topic from last time, attribute assignment. We talked about it, but now I'll go into even more detail just to make sure it's as clear as possible, because it's such an important part of the object system in Python. So we're going to write down assignment statements that have a little bit different form than before. There's still an equal sign. There's still some expression on the right that we evaluate first to get some value. But instead of binding that value to some name in a frame, we're going to change an attribute of some object by having a dot expression on the left side of equals. So assignment statements with a dot expression on their left hand side affect attributes for the object of that dot expression. And it doesn't matter what sort of object that is, we're always going to change its attribute. So if the object is an instance of some class that we've created, an assignment sets an instance attribute. If the object of the dot expression is a class, then assignment sets a class attribute. Okay, here's an assignment statement that's an attribute assignment statement. How do we know? Well, on the left hand side of the equals, there's a dot expression. So on the right hand side of equals, we can have an arbitrarily complicated expression that we always evaluate first in order to get that value. On the left hand side, we have any dot expression, which means we can have an arbitrarily complicated left hand side of the dot, which is going to evaluate to some object. Now, in this case, we just have a name, Tom account. So let's say that evaluates to some bank account object that we've already created. And then we're going to change one of its attributes. So an attribute is a name value pair. In this case, the name is interest. The value is 0 0.08. And the effect of this assignment statement is to change the interest attribute of Tom account to be 0 0.08. If, if there was no instance attribute, then we're going to create one. If there was one there already with a different value, now we'll change the value. Okay, so this expression here evaluates to an object. But when we go to set interest as an attribute on that object, we don't look up interest in the same way that we just described for evaluating dot expressions. So we don't go find it in the class or anything like that. And there's no bound methods going on. All we do here is we always assign an instance attribute for the name interest on Tom account directly. So this whole thing, attribute assignment, adds or modifies the attribute named interest on Tom account. It doesn't affect the account class in any way. So this is an instance of instance attribute assignment. An example of class attribute assignment is where you'd write down an expression that evaluates to a class on the, on the left hand side of the dot. So account was a class and Tom account was a particular account. And we can set the interest rate for all accounts with a class attribute assignment statement that looks like this. Okay, so I'm gonna walk through the same example that I did last time, but now I'll depict a little bit more of what's going on. So let's say we begin with the code that we had before, which creates an account class with an interest rate of 0.02. So this name value pair is one of the attributes of the account class. There's also attributes with the name withdraw, deposit, and init, but those aren't going to change or be used in this example. Okay, the first line I execute creates a new instance of the account class, and then we bind that instance to the name Jim account. Remember that in our account class, balance gets bound to zero for every new instance. And the name holder is a name for an attribute that's bound to whatever string is passed in to the account call expression, in this case, Jim. Okay, so now we have this new instance where the balance is zero, the holder is Jim, and the instance attributes are here, two names and two values. When I create Tom account, I get another instance those are the instance attributes of Tom account. And when I look up Tom account interest, well, what happens there? I look for the name interest anywhere here. I don't find it. So then I check the class 
and there's interest is 0.02. What's gym account dot interest? Well, I check interest here. It's not there. So I look in the class, 0.02. Okay, what happens if I change account dot interest to be 0.04? Well, I evaluate account, that's this up here, and I change its interest, interest attribute to 0.04. Okay, so I get rid of the old one, now I have a new one. If I look up the interest on either instance, right now, I'll look in the instance itself, there's still no interest there. So I look in the class, there it is, and now it's 0.04. All right, gym account dot interest equals 0.08. So I evaluate gym account. That's this object here. And I set an instance attribute called interest to that value. Okay, so this line is new. Now Jim has its own special interest. If I look up that interest, I'll get it back, 0.08. Tom's account still has the same interest it had before. Now notice it doesn't even have an interest attribute. So when we look in here for interest, we don't find it, and we will only look at the class. Okay, so if I change account.interest to be 0.05, account is the class up here, its interest changes to 0.05, Notice nothing gets affected here, and nothing gets affected here. The only thing that changes is this class attribute. When I go and I look up the interest attribute on Tom account, which is over here, there's no interest, and so I find 0.05. When I look up for Jim account, I find 0.08 immediately, and I never look in the class. 